Moin Moin in der Werkstatt Zukunft. Wir haben heute einen Gast aus Uganda zu Besuch in Oldenburg. Sein Name ist Bogonza Hermann und er ist künstlerischer Leiter der Susolia Undugu Dance Academy. Eine Gruppe junger, talentierter Künstlerinnen und Künstler aus der ugandischen Hauptstadt Kampala. In der Einrichtung werden Jugendliche, die keine oder wenig Familie oder Perspektiven haben, von den professionellen Künstlerinnen in traditioneller Musik und Tanz sowie Theater unterrichtet. Die Gruppe ist auch Teil der Undugu-Bewegung, die für ein afrikanisches Gemeinschaftsgefühl steht und sich für Frieden und kulturelle Vielfalt sowie für ein Leben in Einklang mit der Natur einsetzt. In ihrer Arbeit und mit ihren Tanzperformances regen die Künstlerinnen von Sosolia zum Umdenken und gemeinsamen verantwortlichen Handeln an und werden dabei selbst aktiv. Sie führen in ihrem Slumviertel Müllsammelaktionen durch und fahren in die Umgebung Kampalas, um Bäume zu pflanzen. In diesem Jahr ist Sosolia mit dem Programm Creative für Klimagerechtigkeit in Deutschland unterwegs. Erzähl doch kurz, was sie mit der Sosolia Undugu Dance Academy in Uganda macht. Please give us a short introduction of the work you are doing with the Sosolia Undugu Dance Academy Uganda. Well, I am an artistic director at Sosolia Undugu Dance Academy and I work majorly with music to help the children to learn more about music, what kind of music, where it comes from and why. And since we are rich in culture, it's very important for us to learn our own local music before we learn any other music. And we learn music from all over the world. That is what I do at Sosolia. Warum arbeitet ihr zum Thema Klimawandel bzw. Klimagerechtigkeit und was ist Klimagerechtigkeit überhaupt? Why are you working on the topic climate justice and what is it about? Climate justice is something that we have seen and we have noticed that it is important. It is we are slowly by slowly killing the environment and it's about time we took action. So we at Sosolia we are taking the initiative. We're trying as much as possible to be the leaders into making sure that everybody realizes that we need to work on the climate. So that's why we are working so hard as Sosolia. Yeah. Welche Auswirkungen des Klimawandels spürt ihr in Uganda? Which impact of climate change are you facing in Uganda? Plastic. Plastic, plastic, plastic. I cannot say it any further than that. Because we don't know, we, we don't have a very good way of disposing of the plastic. So it's causing a lot of trouble and it's even blocking all roadways, all pathways and even the floods are being caused because of the plastic. And the plastic gets in all the drainage and it does not help us very well. Yeah. Was wünscht ihr euch von jungen Menschen im globalen Norden in Deutschland, was wir für Klimagerechtigkeit tun können? What would you say to young people in Germany, how can they support climate justice? I, the one thing that I can tell the German young people, let them speak up. If they never speak up, nobody will ever listen. They start one by one, and one by one makes a bundle. So if they speak up so loud, everybody will hear. Everybody will hear their cry, and they will, they will put everything into action. Yes. In der Vorstellung des Projektes habe ich ja beschrieben, dass ihr in Uganda Bilsammelaktionen durchführt und Bäume pflanzt. Gibt es noch weitere Aktionen, die ihr in Uganda bereits durchführt? So are there any other activities you do against the climate change in Uganda? Yes, yes we do. Uh, first of all, we have a, a, a project that we do called Bulunji Buansi. In my language they call it Bulunji Buansi. But in English it is uh, for the good of the nation. We have our children, about 320 of them, we divide them into different groups and we allocate them different places in the community where they go and help that particular community to clean up the space, to clean up the drainages, to pick up all the, all, all the rubbish and make sure they put it in the right place and uh, also do some construction once in a while, yeah, to make the roads better, to make the drainages better, look good and more organized. That is one. Two, we have planted as many trees as possible and we are able to give them out to people for free so that they can be able to plant them on their pieces of land. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then also the government, the government helps to clean up uh, swamps, to make sure the areas are gazetted very well, to avoid people from encroaching on the land, to avoid them 
disturbing the land as much as possible. And they penalize them when they do that, when they cut down the trees. But of course, you know how it is. People always find ways of making sure they go back there. But at least they, make, they are making an effort to make sure things are moving well. Yeah. In deiner Antwort eben hast du gesagt, dass die Jugendlichen in Deutschland lauter werden sollen. Wäre die Fridays for Future Demonstrationsbewegung eine solche Aktion gegen den Klimawandel? So in your answer you said um, the German people should be louder and make them listen. Mm -hmm. um, would be the Fridays for Future movement one of these examples for that? Actually, it is the biggest forum that the, the youth have in Germany here and actually in Europe, as I understand, that they can use to be able to speak up. Unfortunately for Uganda, we do not have such, a, such an opportunity for us to speak up. But we try as much as possible to use the schools that are there. We give them... We, give, we, we are able to give them flyers, we are able to help them understand what it is that those flyers are talking about. We are able to talk about the climate itself, how important it is for us to save the environment, how important it is for us to make sure we depose, dispose of everything properly so that we can be able to at least contribute, even if it is a small bit like this, to the environment. Fridays for Future is, is a blessing. I call it a blessing to the earth, to this world. And I hope and I pray that it keeps on spreading slowly by slowly and then it comes down all the way to Africa. And then hopefully it gets to Uganda. And when it gets there, we shall be championing it. Yes. Jetzt ist ja Plastik nicht nur die einzige Ursache oder die einzige Folge des Klimawandels, die man in Uganda spürt. Gibt es noch wirkliche klimatische Veränderungen? So, not only plastic is one of the changes, I guess. Are there any other climatic changes in Uganda? Well, first of all, Uganda is blessed with two major seasons. We have the dry season and the rainy season. Now, they come four times. We usually have dry, rainy season, dry and rainy season. And most of the times, the agriculturalists usually know when it comes when it's going to rain and they plant their crops and then they know that we shall harvest in this season but things have started changing we no longer know exactly when it's going to rain we no longer know when it's going to shine so it confuses everyone so and even the agricultural system is becomes unbalanced because of, of the, the change in the weather. But most of, one of the things that happen also is because we cut down trees so much. We cut down trees so much to look for charcoal and the charcoal and coal. We, we use it for coal most of the times. So when we cut down the trees, the whole system is also not very well. And the climate, woof, it goes away, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Thank you very much for taking your time and I wish you all the best for your projects and it's kind of a connection between Uganda and the youth of Uganda and Germany with this blessing of a of this movement Fridays for Future. That's very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much and also thank you for inviting me to be able to, to see the beautiful Oldenburg. And it's my first time in Germany and It's a good thing that I came with when the weather was a good and it was not very cold. Yeah, and I've really enjoyed. And I hope and pray that by the time they finish the one week, uh, the, the, young, the, the young people from Germany and Uganda, they will have come up with maybe other ideas of how they can make the climate much better. Yes. Thank you.